she is simply holding her hands, joining her palms and, and offering obeisances to Krishna and she is not able to enter Vrindavan. She is sitting on the outskirts of Vrindavan across Jamuna in Belvan and praying for entry into Ras Lila. So, this pastime is rare for Shiva, Brahma and even Lakshmi. So therefore, there is absolutely no words to describe the greatness of this pastimes. So finally, finally, they simply say Maduram, 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 Maduram. Sweet, sweet, sweet and sweet. S superlative degree, superior than even superlative degree, how sweet it is. So this place is the sweetest of all places, Veera Samir. In the first verse of Bhagavatam, this told, Tejo Vari Madam, Bhagavan's pastimes, even bolder Tej, the sun god or the moon god, Vari, means the water of Jamuna, has the heavy currents, whirlpools, and Vari Mridam, the earth also, the stones also melt. So simply by the fragrance emanating from the toners of Radharani. So the moon, the moon appears dull, dim, and devoid of any brightness when the moon sees the brightness emanating from the toners of Radharani. Jamuna, I will be going to the place called Ram Ghat. And you see that Jamuna, instead of flowing downstream, is flowing upstream because she doesn't want to leave Braja Mandal. <coughs> and at Giraj Govardhan, also at Sakigiri Mountain, you see footprints of Radha Krishna get imprinted in the stone because the stones melt on hearing Krishna's flute song and also by the touch of lotus feet of Sri Krishna. Pravarna Saraswati Pad is telling that most auspicious is this breeze which has touched the body of Srimati Radharani. Nay, the breeze has not touched the body of Radharani. It has touched the clothes uh, of Radharani and carrying the fragrance from her body also along with it. So Krishna offers obeisance in that direction from where that breeze is coming. Radharan is standing on the bank of Radha Kunda and that time the breeze blowing carries the fragrance from Radharani's clothes and, and that breeze enters into Krishna's nostrils. Krishna simply faints and when he comes back to consciousness he offers obeisances to that direction from which this breeze is coming. She offers, he offers obeisances to the direction of Radha Kunda. So seeing the sweet, sweet pastimes of Radha Krishna the breeze becomes completely intoxicated and in that state of inebriated state, intoxicated state, the breeze also cannot maintain its composure and falls down repeatedly and becomes very slow, falters repeatedly and becomes very slow like an intoxicated person. So, Vasate Vani Vanamali. Bhagavan is most beautiful. Where does the Bhagavan's topmost beauty manifest? Shri Vishnu Chaitanya says that where Shri Krishna is the favorable, favorable hero, Anukul Nayaka, where Krishna is completely favorable to Radharani, where Radharani has completely subjugated Shri Krishna, now he is a submissive hero, when Krishna is totally submissive and Radharani is completely controlling him, she is Swadina Bhartrika, then that time Radha Krishna's topmost beauty manifests. So therefore, this is the place where Radharani has completely subjugated Krishna. So therefore, the topmost benefit beauty of Radha Krishna manifests in this place at Dhira Samir. <coughs> Sakis and Manjiris of Radharani who are taking Radharani on Adhisar are requesting Radharani that please remove these ankle bells because these ankle bells, ankle bells are there in your feet then someone will know that you are going to meet Krishna secretly so take out this take out this ankle bells or at least uh, make them quiet by tying cloth around them so, so that they don't make so much noise and disclose your activity.
एक्टिविटीज एंड लोकेशन एंड ऑल्सो एक्सपर्टीज आर टेलिंग राधारानी दैट बिकॉज इट्स अ इट्स अ डार्क फोर्ट नाइट दैट डार्कनेस अराउंड योर बॉडीली फ्रेगरेंस इज वेरी योर बॉडीली एफर्जेंस इज सो ब्राइट दैट समवन विल नो दैट यू आर गोइंग ऑन अ विसर सो देयर फॉर कवर योर बॉडी बाय द ब्लू क्लॉथ और डार्क क्लॉथ सो दैट नो वन विल नो दैट यू आर गोइंग ऑन अ विसर वो दांत में इतने ज्योति प्रकाश है बट ऑल्सो इसका दांत का कवर योर बैंगल्स बट एंड डोंट स्पीक डोंट स्पीक बिकॉज बिकॉज इफ यू स्पीक और इफ यू स्माइल राधा रानी देन योर पर लाइक इट आर सो इक्वल जंट विल डिस्क्लोज दैट दिस इज राधा रानी सो डोंट स्पीक बी क्वाइट एंड डोंट स्माइल एंड वॉक स्लोली एंड डोंट मेक साउंड ऑफ एंकल बेल्स और जस्ट गेट रिड ऑफ एंकल बेल्स सो सो दैट यू कैन मीट कृष्णा सीक्रेटली विदाउट एनी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन कृष्णा इज डार्क इन कलर राधा रण इज गोल्डन इन कलर इफ देर इज अलैक्स स्काय इन द स्काय इन दिन द ब्लूश स्काय कृष्णा इज कंपेयर टू द ब्लूश स्काय एंड इफ सो मेनी स्वॉन्स और इफ सो मेनी सो मेनी क्रेन्स यू मे समाइम्स सी रुदय में वो बला के सो मेनी क्रेन्स समटाइम्स फ्लाई इन अली near formation in the sky so similarly radharani when you will uh, engage in amorous sports with krishna krishna is lying down radharani is sitting upon krishna so radharani will look like the uh, linear formation of uh, cranes or swans on the bluish chest of krishna so this shows some special type of uh, love राधा रानी इज ऑल्सो वेरी क्रुकेड शी ऑल्सो परफॉर्म्स वेरी स्वीट फैस्ट टाइम्स राधा रानी नहीं इसलिए सुंदर कभी कभी कहीं 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 and wait for radharani making the bed ready radharani ke mantra do kabhi sakhiyon se unhone radharani ke mantra ko prapt kar liye one time krishna asked the sakhis that how will i obtain the mercy of radharani then the sakhi told krishna that oh krishna if you want mercy of radharani you have to chant the mantra of radharani so then then uh, the sakhi gave him the mantra ram radhika hari namah then krishna began to sit down and chant this mantra of radhika radha's mantra when krishna said i am chanting radha's mantra but still still i am not able to have audience with my beloved what should i do then okay the sakhi told that you are chanting but this chanting is not as powerful as loud kirtan so therefore if you do loud sankirtan it is superior thousand times superior than just mental uh, japa or mumbling japa bale radhe bo the krishna bol kirtan bo prinda ben ki galiyan bo radhe bo radhe bo prinda ben ki galiyan राधा जी की चिंता में बड़ी कृष्ण बिकम वेरी एजिटेटेड इन सेपरेशन ऑफ राधा देन राधा रानी हर्षल 
then Radha Krishna's meetings take place. So in Gita Govinda, this place is called Gita. In Gita Govinda, this place is called Dhir Singh Samir. This is the Samadhi temple of Gauri Das Pandit. Who is Gauri Das Pandit? In Krishna's pastimes, he is a Priya Narmasaka called Subal. And in Mahabharata's pastimes, he is Gauri Das Pandit. There is one, one poet says that Devari Deva Gaur Nityananda Sangya Gaur Ambikate Vihare It is told that the Supreme Personality of Godhead Gaur Chandra He is now staying in the house of Gauri Das Pandit in Ambika Kalna But who is Krishna? Who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He is not the just the Lord, He is the Lord of all Lords He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead Why he is staying in the home of uh, why is staying in the house of uh, uh, Gauri Das Pandit? Because Gauri Das Pandit is actually a Subal Sakha, he is a Priya Naram Sakha. Priya Naram Sakhas, they are also, they sometimes help in Radha Krishna's conjugal pastimes. They help, they help Krishna in stealing the clothes of the gopis. And also, they have no sense of uh, they are, they are not feeling that I am a male, so therefore they can be present in many many during intimate pastimes also. So Gauravas Pandit one time I told Gauravitanna Prabhu, you must stay in my home for more days. And Gauri Nityananda Prabhu said, tomorrow we'll go. Okay. And then when they were ready to go next day, oh, you stay one more day, one more day, one more day. Months passed. He would not let Gauri Nita go from his home. And finally, Gauri Nityananda Prabhu told that there is no difference between us and our deity. So they made one set of deity of Gauri Nityananda Prabhu. They told that either we can stay or the deity can stay. Both of us cannot stay. He said, okay. Let you stay, original form, and let the deity go for preaching activities. So when the deities were walking out, then Vedas became alerted, and he went to the deities and accosted them and said, Stop, 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 you cannot go. The original government said, say, At least let us go if you want the deities. Then, so he would not let either one of them go. Finally, Gauras Pandit was he, he, he allowed that original Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu should stay in his home and the deities should go on preaching activities. So deities are preaching and original are still in Ambika Kalna. So Mahaprabhu was in Jagannath Puri. There was one Goswami was there, Gopal Guru Goswami. After Gopal Guru Goswami, he had a disciple. Dhyan Chandra Goswami was there. So Gauriyas Pandit's disciple is Gopal Guru Goswami and Gopal Guru Goswami is Dhyana Chandra Goswami. When the spiritual master departs from this world, he, uh, he appoints an, his beloved disciple as the heir, as the inheritor of his property. But, but Gopal Guru Goswami was so absorbed in love of Godhead that he did not finish the legal formalities of designating his heir and therefore Dhanjandra Goswami was uh, troubled by the king and his assistants that this property of Gambira of Radha Kanta Mat does not belong to you. So therefore the king wanted to take away the property from Dhanjandra Goswami and wanted to join it with the treasury of the king. So that time Dhanjandra Goswami became very distressed such a beautiful temple such a beautiful place where Mahaprabhu did his entrance bhajan pastimes will go away to the king it will not stay with our mud he became very distressed some devotee came from Braj and he told in Puri to Dhanjandra Goswami that your spiritual master Gopal Guru Goswami ji was doing bhajan at Dhir Samir he was chanting Harinam I saw him <coughs> he was doing Harinam where we are sitting right now so, so Dhanjandra Swami, when he heard this from that person, uh, he immediately came uh, walking all the way from Puri to Braj and he saw a Deva Samari spiritual master in Harinam uh, at this place. So, when we, whenever spiritual master disappears, we should not become very depressed or distressed. We should, Guru is eternal. If you pray to our Guru, what will happen? Guru will come personally before guide you.
जनार्दन महाराज वॉज रेंटिंग सर्विस टू स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर वामन गोस्वाई महाराज देन वामन गोस्वाई महाराज गॉट अप इन द मॉर्निंग एंड टोल जनार्दन महाराज दैट आई कुड नॉट स्लीप ऑल नाइट प्रॉपरली जनार्दन महाराज टोल वामन गोस्वाई महाराज दैट गुरुदे All night you are mumbling and talking with someone. How can you sleep properly? Then Ram Maharaj told that tomorrow I have to publish one book of I have to publish one book of Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. But I could not understand what to write in the four word preface of that book. So I was discussing the topics to be included in the preface of that book. And just the night Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj appeared to me in the dream, and I was discussing with him these uh, important topics and what. should be included in the preface of that book so one time prakash bhakti pragyan keshav goswami maharaj that time he was not a sanyasi he was a brahmachari his name was vinod bihari brahmachari he was asleep in the math in devaram gaudiya math and there bhakti siddhan saraswati gopad came in his dream and told my dear vinod bihari why don't you accept the renounce order of life in absence of your sanyas in absence of your preaching my mission is falling apart so therefore take sanyas and you should start the navadvip dham parikrama again and start strongly preaching and establish so many mats all over india and all over the world so you do it as dreams are all this kaam vyo vyo namo namaha nitai gaur prema nandini hari hari hari